Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG name slot. I've gone, and created, gone ahead and created an example user interface widget and we will go ahead and start working here. We are going to make an awesome looking border that we're going to use for a role playing game that we want to use to show any debuffs or for example we want to use to show any spells we want to use as hotkeys. So let's say we spend a couple hours and we've styled out the best looking border in the world. Just we'll have to use our imagination because I'm going to spend five seconds and finish this. We now have our awesome looking border. Now we have multiple parts of our user interface that may want to use this border. Perhaps a hot bar, perhaps buffs, perhaps a display over the person's head. But we spend a lot of time and we don't want to redo it for every single user interface element. Well, let's drag an image on top of here and let's, for our example, style this image to look like a heart. Okay, this is nice and handy, but we can't easily reuse this. Well, if we decide that we want to create our own border that's awesomely styled, well, we can go ahead and do that. And we've done that and I've called it Awesome Border. We drag our Awesome Border in. We now have our awesomely styled border. Well, the only issue is you cannot add anything to the awesome border because it is a user widget and user widgets cannot contain children. This is where the name slot comes in handy. Let's go back to our awesome border. We'll go ahead and add a name slot to it and we'll go ahead and save and compile. The name slot has no parameters. We just simply need to put it where we want it. We go back to our user interface and we now have our awesome border with a child slot. We can now drag and drop an image directly onto our child slot and then style it as needed. For example, let's say this one's going to be a half heart and there we go. We now have our awesome styled border that took us hours to do with a custom image inside of it and we can use reuse this awesome border anywhere we want and put any children we want inside of it. For a better example I went ahead and I created another project I've been working on I call this one a resizable widget basically I made a generic widget that I can resize as needed but it's kind of pointless if I'd have to go into this resizable widget put in my custom content let's say an image rename it put in my other custom content let's say text rename it and then continue over and over and have 40 widgets when the only thing that changes is the content so i've gone ahead and created this and as you can see i have a content area in the middle with a name slot i've called content area slot if we run our example i've got a resizable window here with a text block inside of it and then i have another one here with a button inside of it so I made one widget that I can reuse as many times as I want. Let's say, for example, I wanted a third one. I can just go in here, add a resizable window. I now have a content area here, like we talked about before, called content area slot. And I can drag anything I want into that. Let's say an image. And boom, now we have an image inside of that. We have another unique window with its own custom content that I can do whatever I'd like with. So. The name slot is a handy way to allow you to create templates or reusable widgets that can still have custom content in it without having to duplicate the original widget multiple times.